This is the Scoop for Friday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. The Florida Senate has revamped a proposal aimed at keeping children off social media. Debate continued yesterday about whether restrictions would be constitutional and whether they would infringe on parental rights. The Senate Fiscal Policy Committee approved the bill, which is a priority of House Speaker Paul Renner. It would prevent minors under 16 from creating social media accounts and would require social media platforms to terminate existing accounts that are reasonably known by the platforms to be held by such minors. The House overwhelmingly passed the bill last month. Supporters of the bill, including Senator Travis Hudson, described social media as harmful to children's mental health. We all know nationally, not even in the state of Florida, uh, social media is a problem. Um, And right now it's it's what do we want to do and how do we regulate it? Um, Some of our youth are vulnerable to certain folks online. Opponents of the bill feel the legislation may not be constitutional. Senator Chevron Jones also feels parents should have the right to make decisions on social media, not the government. I know the harm that social media has brought to communities, but it is not the legislature's job to parent the parents and how they parent. It's not our job to do that. The bill is now ready for consideration by the full Senate. If approved, it would have to return to the House since changes were made. The Florida House has passed a controversial proposal aimed at allowing people to kill bears in self-defense. The bill's Republican sponsor said it's needed because of an increase in bears venturing into residential areas of his sprawling North Florida district. But opponents said better trash management in rural counties would help reduce bears being attracted to residential areas. Democratic Representative Catherine Waldron called the proposal shameful in undermining the jurisdiction of the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to give people free reign to kill remaining black bears. The House voted 88 to 29 to pass the bill. The Senate is scheduled to take up its version of the bill on Wednesday. Last year, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a sweeping anti-immigration bill into law. WMNF's Chris Young reports that immigration advocates and lawmakers gathered in the state capitol yesterday to speak on a bill that would reverse a lot of these policies. The Welcoming Florida Act would repeal efforts to curb immigration. It would limit law enforcement's involvement in immigration enforcement, expand eligibility for driver's licenses, and more. Tessa Petit is a Haitian immigrant and executive director of Florida Immigrant Coalition. Once again, the legislator is ruthlessly passing bills that will impact all Floridians with the greatest impact on low-income and marginalized communities. This needs to stop. Last year's Senate Bill 1718 was signed into law in July. It criminalizes those who cross into Florida with undocumented immigrants, requires strict verification of immigrant status for employers, and more. Senator Victor Torres is a sponsor of the Welcoming Florida Act. For many years, my Hispanic brothers and sisters have been under assault in Florida with anti-immigration policies that make it harder for immigrants seeking the American dream to make the dream a reality. The bills were filed in the Senate and the House. They will likely face opposition from a Republican-led legislature. For WMNF News, I'm Chris Young. The Florida Senate has backed a bill to keep pot alternative products out of the hands of minors. The bill tightens restrictions on how hemp extract products like Delta 9 are advertised. The products can have similar effects to traditional marijuana. They've been the focus of regulation by the state in recent years. Lakeland Republican Senator Colleen Burton says the measure strengthens the work done by the legislature last year and is the product of increased legislative experience with the industry. Absolutely made crystal clear for me in the process of working on this legislation that I work with 39 senators who care about their constituents, who care about the health and safety of Floridians. This year's proposal prohibits the product's packaging or advertisements from displaying cartoons, toys, or other features that specifically target children. Today, it'll be mostly cloudy and warm. Highs will be in the high 70s. Tonight, cloudy with showers after midnight. Lows will be in the low 60s. And tomorrow, rain with possible thunderstorms. Highs in the mid 60s. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.